Hey YouTube, it's me Ashley, a girl and her flowers, and welcome to my channel. It's been a couple weeks since I made a video. I've been like really focused on what's been going on. My surgery's in a couple weeks or a few weeks. So I've been like trying to get everything together, making sure the kids are gonna be good, <laughs> making sure life is gonna be good, getting my hair done. Um, cause my birthday is next week. <laughs> my pre-op diet starts next week. Like, a lot of things are happening right now. So, I just first wanted to give you guys an update and say, hey, I suck. I literally made, like, two posts last week saying I was going to put a video up on Friday. And I didn't because, like, I, my excuse all the time is just sleep, the kids, I'm in school. It's, like, <clears throat> getting, like, to a really like hard time with school, like I really have to focus. My flowers are cricket, but we're just gonna keep on going on about whatever. So just to guys, just to let you guys know what's been going on with me. Um, like I said earlier in the video, my pre-op diet starts on the 15th. My 29th birthday is the 17th. So me and some friends decided to celebrate my birthday early. We went to this place in Ann Arbor, Michigan called Good Time Charlie's, it was amazing. I got extremely drunk, which is not me. Like, I drink, like, once a year. So, it's a big deal when I drink. And I had, like, five shots, two drinks, a literal, literally a pitcher full of alcohol. And it was just madness. <laughs> but that's what's been going on with me, that and work. Um, I have been having a lot of panic attacks lately almost every day. And I think it has to do with, like, a combination of my job and just the excitement and nervousness about having the surgery done and as we get closer and closer to the date it's like oh my goodness I'm gonna be off work for four weeks so I'll definitely not have no excuse to put my videos up because I'll be home and I really wanted you guys to like go on the journey with me with my pre-op diet and like my surgery the or like the entire experience as much as i as much as i can record i plan to record um so i'll try to make like a pre-op a couple pre-op diet videos like how things are going like maybe after the first week and then after the second week and then i want to do like a day in the or with me so the check-in process and the entire thing like i said as much of it as i can film i want to like get it like filmed not just for you guys, but for me, so I can, like, relive the experience, because I'll probably be doped up, and I want to kind of see how the day goes with me as far as, like, my nerves and everything. Um, but, on to my normal thing. Really, I just wanted to make a video today just to say that don't let anyone stand in your way. Do not allow people to, you know, break you down to the point that you give up on yourself. And I can say that from experience. The past, like I said, like this past week, especially at work, has been extremely trying for me. And there have been times that I just wanted to give up. But I cannot allow other people to have that much power over me. And I was realizing how much power they had over me when I would almost be sick to my stomach on my way to work. And that's just kind of not how it should be. You're supposed to go to work to do your job to come home and that's where it ends. It needs to end when you clock out or punch out or walk out for me or whatever you do. Um, and I realized that I was taking that stress home. I was pretty much coming home from work and just wanted to lay in the bed and just mope. And thinking that I was giving people so much power over me that they probably aren't even concerned about me when it's time for them to go home but i go home and i let all of their you know negativity weigh on me for throughout the entire day which especially if you're someone who's battling depression or anxiety that's a very toxic thing because um it doesn't take much to trigger like a panic attack or trigger that you know depression or whatever you're going through and so you allow someone to just like you know throw so much negativity at you it just kind of can throw off your everything like literally just be physically sick i literally had strep throat i've said literally so many times in this video i'm gonna try to go the rest of this video without saying literally let's see how that goes um so back to the topic you just cannot allow people to get in your way 
um, haters are going to always be there. You're always going to have someone who doesn't want to see you shine, who doesn't want to see you get to where you want to be, who doesn't want to see you succeed. And that should push you to work harder, grind harder, get to where you're going to get, you know, even get even higher, you know, <laughs> like do even do pass your expectations because the the more you grow, the more the haters are going to be there and you just have to learn how to let them brush off your shoulder because if people have the time to be negative to you, that's time they're taking away from themselves. So don't take away from yourself by feeding into the negativity. Let them waste their time worrying about you and watching you glow up and then they can sit back and be like, oh, I should have been glowing up while I was too busy worrying about you. So don't let negative people get in your way. They're going to always be there. And if you focus on one, you might as well just spend the rest of your life focused on the negative people and then they win because they're not going anywhere. When one leaves, another one will be there. So don't give them any power. Don't let it get to you because that's just what it is. That's what they were put on this earth earth for and that was to try to bring people down and don't let yourself fall victim to their nonsense and that is pretty much what it is <laughs> like let them go let them do their thing and move on with your day um whew, that's pretty much it i'm so excited about this surgery like i have been constantly walking and everything i'm a little nervous about the pre-op diet, which I will make a video in the same outfit, maybe different flowers or maybe no flowers um, to kind of go over what pre-op diet is for you guys so you can get the feel of what it's going to be. I'm just excited to get this ball rolling. I can't believe I'm making a video without like, if you guys notice, I always have like something over my arms because I'm like so insecure about my arms, but... <sighs> Like I said, I'm not letting haters get to me, so it's a part of who I am. Take it or leave it. If you guys see my new little sign back there, it's kind of backwards. I guess when I got it made, I should have thought about maybe trying to get it done mirror image, but I love it. It says a girl and her flowers, happiness blooms within. My neighbor, Courtney's Creative Creations, she made it for me. I absolutely adore it. I have my flower wall that I have kind of worked on and then kind of let go because it, it'll be like to the point that it'll end up being the whole wall. So I was like, let me just try to get like a corner together that I'll make my videos in and right above my bed because I get the feeling that when I have this surgery, I'm going to spend a lot of time here. So I should make my corner kind of close to here. And then once I'm like done with surgery, I'll be able to pull my bed out, put a chair over there and make my videos over there. So that is it. Oh, and I have these little stickers. You can't really see them. They're like lining my, my headboard, but they're flowers. And I got them from the dollar store. I probably will do like a room tour one day because... Like, my room is literally floral and elephants, like, everywhere. It's kind of my thing. And so, I'll, I'll just, maybe I'll do that. I have to, like, write these ideas down because if I don't, then um, they probably won't get done. So, I really want to take this crown off because I, like, took the time to flat iron my hair and I have to tie it up. So, um, thank you guys for bearing with me, anyone who does, like, consistently watch my videos if you do if you don't it is what it is these videos are mostly for me more than anything so I can look back on this journey and go wow look how far I've come um but if you do don't forget to like comment share and subscribe um I maybe try to do a few clips from my birthday dinner but it was so lit like somebody told me I'm too old to use that word but <laughs> it was extreme it was like embarrassing i'm not sure i want to put that out there but like i said don't forget to like comment share subscribe let your friends know about me and family know about me and anybody who has haters let them know about me and that is it um thanks again and until next time